and CPA. I asked for the opportunity to speak because I wanted you to have a face to what is going on in the world right now. I will not be silent on the matters that's plaguing our nation, and I believe that it's my responsibility and my obligation to speak up and to let you know about our message and make our message clear. Okay, this was a decision that I made. Didn't need anybody to make it for me, nor did I expect anyone to speak for me. Because I believe what I have to say is important and necessary. For those who may not know me, my name is Christian Robert Black, and I have the great privilege of acting as the North Texas Performing Arts Dallas Program Director, Senior Resident Director, and Academy Director and Instructor. I'm a child of God, a son, a brother, and a husband. I take on all those titles with great joy and great love. What I'm talking to you about today is not really about any of those responsibilities. It's about who and what I am at my core and who I will always be. And that's a black man, a proud black man. For some 400 years, my people have endured struggle after struggle in this country, from slavery to segregation to discrimination, and now, today, most notably, blatant and unjust brutality from law enforcement, those tasked with protecting our rights and freedoms as Americans. To be black in America means to be judged and profiled. Every time someone walks a little faster on the sidewalk when they see one of us headed their way. Every time you sit in a public area and someone looks over with dirty looks or rotten judgment. Every time someone makes an insensitive remark and as a cover-up claims that it was just a joke. Every time that someone assumes aggression because of what we look like and what we're built like. We are quite literally scared for our lives every time we're stopped by a police officer because we know that an assumption that we have a weapon made by that police officer could mean that we're not coming home to our loved ones. That is our reality. This is not propaganda. This is not being invented by some media outlet to scare you or to race bait. This is real. This is happening. This is the struggle of African Americans and what it means to be an African American in this country. That is the very core of the Black Lives Matter movement. It's a declaration that our lives matter just as much as our counterparts, and we are demanding justice. For our non-black allies, it's a movement. But for us, it's our livelihood, and we're fighting for it. I have the fortune of working for North Texas Performing Arts. This is a company I believe in. And no, they haven't always been perfect, but what I can speak to is my experience working here. I feel seen, I feel valued, I feel honored by our students, parents, and patrons alike. I'm proud of our mission, I'm proud of what we strive to do with our 10 characters, and I'm proud of our devotion to diversity and inclusion. Our people, myself included, are hurting. And right now we're making our voices heard. We have just as much of a right to that as you do. This is not the time to tell someone how to protest, how to feel, what to feel, and why they're feeling what they're feeling. You don't know what it's like to live in the skin. We can't expect you to. But what we do expect you to do is to listen. We're speaking up against racial prejudices that we face each and every day. We're fighting, quite simply, for change. I am so proud to be black. I'm proud to have black parents, a black sister. I'm proud to have grown up in an environment where I learned to embrace and appreciate my blackness. To my non-black NCPA students, parents, patrons, and families, my challenge to you is this. Speak up against racial prejudice. Listen to your black counterparts. Be an ally. Speak up. Go out and do. Take action. It is with your activism and our cries for justice that we are actually going to see real and tentative change. Rise to the challenge. Look within yourselves and decide whether or not you can push yourself to a higher standard. Are you truly an advocate for equality? Understand that it's not just about you. I'm thankful to NTPA in more words than I can convey. And I'm thankful to our students, our parents, and our patrons that have taken this journey with me. There is work to be done. We know that. We acknowledge it. We don't shy away from it. But there isn't anything that we can't accomplish together. Be the change you want to see. Challenge your family members, your friends, your colleagues to, to do better. Be better. To actually fight for equality and to see what we see. If there's anything that you take from my message today, 
It's that equality and justice is the one true basic right of every American. That's what we're fighting for here. That's the whole reason why the movement exists. We just want to be seen. See our color, understand our color, respect our color. Thanks for listening. Love to all. Thank you.